Coach, uh, you're a spring sport. The 2016-2017 uh, athletic season is getting ready to get underway. Obviously, you'll have a fall schedule and you, you'll do some things in the fall, but you are a spring sport. So let's, uh, get in there. let's look back at uh, last year, your first year here at Southeastern. Uh, very competitive on the field, 15 and 18 at home, very competitive at home. A little rough on the road, but that's to be expected sometimes when you play on the road. Just assess your first year. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, as far as the year goes, I mean, uh, we won more games than they did a year prior, and uh, we broke a bunch of school records, which was fine. Uh, led the nation in stolen bases. Um, had some people, you know, stand out with some postseason honors. Was really pleased with that. But at the end of the day, uh, we really want to be in the tournament at the end of the season. And so we're really going to try and gear up and, and move towards that in the future. But, um, you know, we look to put pretty much a whole new team on the field uh, for the upcoming season with 13 new players. But overall, with just first year, as far as laying groundwork and a foundation, I was, I was pleased with how much we got done behind the scenes. Coach, uh, you mentioned uh, those postseason honors. Uh, uh, Katie LaCourt will come around that often, and when she does, she, 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 she sets some heads on fire. Talk a little bit about the season this year. Um, Katie was very uh, well deserving of every honor that she received. I was very pleased with her, um, her numbers, how she finished up. I think she had uh, maybe 14 or 15 stolen bases in three years combined and you know we just told her that this system that we're about to implement can really highlight your skill set so she wound up finishing I think with 58 stolen bases on the year and she led the nation in division one um, and did a great job of putting a ball in play uh, we asked her to play a position she hadn't played early in the season since high school so we looked at her at shortstop uh, for quite some time she wound up back in center field and did a good job of just leading the team and in a leadoff spot, and did a good job of just crossing home plate a number of times for us for run production. Coach, uh, looking forward next year, you mentioned earlier in the first question about it's going to be a totally new, different team out there, a totally new team. What can we expect next year? I mean, is there any names that are guys, or girls that are on campus already that you can you can tell us about and that have turned your head early on in workouts? Well, there's um seven junior college transfers that'll be coming in and then there's six freshmen um, of the seven JC transfers uh, they've they're coming from three junior college teams so either this past season or the year before they played for a national championship um, in the, within those three programs so from a battle-tested standpoint and a mental toughness standpoint I'd really like to think that those seven are ready to go uh, when it comes to us evaluating them in that category. So I'm really looking forward to them to be the backbone of our team and lead our team. We have a, a nucleus coming back because we had a young freshman class last year and then we add uh, six talented freshmen as well. And a lot of the players are, you know, uh, probably 80% of them are within an hour or two away of Hammond. So we're really excited about their parents being able to see them play quite a bit and then being in the stands showing support also. Coach, you're no stranger to winning programs. What do you have to do in 2017 to, to be one of those winning programs? Uh, we have to make a statement in conference series, in a three-game series. I, I found last year uh, we'd play great in the opening game, but we just couldn't finish in game two or game three. We'd give up the big inning constantly. It wouldn't be one or two runs here or there. We'd give up a six spot or an eight spot in that one particular inning, generally late in the game. I think uh, the radio announcer in our last uh, series when we were on the road made a comment about, you know, if, so if Southeastern holds the lead late, they're a 40-plus win ball club. Uh, when you start t knocking on the door of 40-plus wins, uh, from a national standpoint, it starts to get a lot of people's attention. So I think to become more mentally tough, to understand a three-game series is a journey uh, and a marathon, not, you know, a 100-yard dash. and. Um, and, and just to try and put our foot down and make a statement early in the season, midway through, and then in the home stretch. And so I look forward to next year's uh, bunch that's coming in. Coach, in today's economic and climate, you've got to raise a lot of your own money. You've got a fundraiser coming up in August. What can you tell us about the Poker Run? Uh, Poker Run's a new event uh, that we have um, planned with by boat, motorcycle, car. There's eight establishments in the area. They need a 10-5 of them. 
uh, Boop Blues will be the home base. Uh, there will be bands and stuff set up. Mr. Boo has said he's taking care of that. And we're looking forward to try and let that become an annual event. So I think if we have good weather and get the word out, it could be really good uh, for our program. Last question, uh, your fall uh, practice will be after the girls get back and get into the swing of classes, y'all will start a practice and y'all will play several games this fall. What do you need to see from your team this fall? Um, we have to dominate in the fall and, uh, and have to expect to win those games. There's a couple of those opponents that we'll bring in that are very seasoned ball clubs that understand how to win as well. But everybody in our lineup will get an opportunity to showcase their skill set and highlight the things that they're able to do. And uh, there's a large roster. I think we have 23 on the roster. So we hope to get all of them playing time. That's our plan. And just to see what they can do. And our goal is by you know February, early February, that we're polished and ready to go for game one. That we don't use games into the spring to get us ready. That we're ready to go in February. So I think our fall is really crucial because with 13 new players coming on board, they have to be uh, ready after a fall season as we get on into our spring.